What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and today we are going to get into the update of Samantha Humphrey. Now Samantha Humphrey, she's 14 years old and she went missing in November. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Yesterday it was confirmed from her family that she was retrieved from the Mohawk River. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and get into it. Hmm. Only 14. A woman acting as a spokesperson for the family named Stephanie Kegley shared the grim news on Facebook and tagged two of Humphrey's closest relatives. Kegley confirmed that authorities have located Humphrey's body and that the family was notified. Okay. Her body was located today. Know her name face her story a 14 year old child was taken violently from this earth we will stand by the family as we get justice for sam it's too soon now to say what caused humphrey's death reports say that an autopsy is scheduled for thursday and a press conference also but it may it may be some time before we know what really happened on that night nearly three months ago when a 14-year-old teen left the house and met up with her ex-boyfriend near the banks of the Mohawk River. Now, Kegley asked for anyone reading the post to give the family time, send good vibes, and prayers. So, um, she went to go meet up with her boyfriend three months ago, her ex-boyfriend three months ago, and she never came back home. And at that time, the ex-boyfriend was not arrested, okay? It doesn't say anywhere now that he's arrested. So, it's still being investigated, okay? It's still being investigated. Um, so, today is Thursday. So, I'm going to be looking out for the press conference to see what they're saying. And an autopsy may take some time. And as soon as that autopsy is released to the public, I will let you guys know what happened. But I'm sorry. I think that ex-boyfriend did something to her. Okay. I, it, it's just. I mean. She goes to meet up with him. Right. And she never comes home. So what happened? What happened? At, at the riverbank. You know. Like come on. But. When the police did speak to him at that time. They did not arrest him. So maybe he doesn't have anything to do with it, but it just, it just feels weird. It feels really, really weird. And I'm not going to say anything else until I get all the facts, but that is just my opinion. Okay. Now, Samantha, who was 14 at the time of her disappearance, was spotted on surveillance camera footage that was captured shortly before midnight on November 25th, near the edge of the Mohawk River and Riverfront Park. It is the last known evidence, okay, of her whereabouts. As a result of that footage, a social media post about the nearby discovery of a jacket that matched the girl's black and pink coat, the massive hunt for the Schenectady High School largely focused on the Mohawk River in, in the Stockade neighborhood. So, like I said, she, you know, went to go meet up with her ex-boyfriend. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they got into an argument and there was a little, you know, something going on, a little scuffle. And maybe she fell, hit her head and went into the water. We don't know. We just don't know. So when the autopsy come back, maybe it's gonna sh it should sh it should shed some light on what happened, on what her cause of death was. Okay, so it's just it's just really crazy to me. It's something just don't feel right with this case. It feels weird. It feels really weird, you know. But like I said before, they did. I think the, the police did question the ex boyfriend. Um, there was no arrest made and there's still no arrest made at this right now. And I know her parents have to be going through it. Her family, you know, she's 14 years old, 
14. Oh, man. Now, there is a GoFundMe, okay, that was organized by Jacqueline Humphrey. It says, hi, my name is Jacqueline, and my 14-year-old daughter went missing on November 25th, 2022. She was last seen at Riverside Park in Schenectady, New York, around 11 p.m. when she snuck out to meet her ex-boyfriend. He was the last person to see her. Her coat was found in the river with what appears to be blood on the hood. Needless to say, the entire family is distraught and now and not working right now. We would like to hire a private investigator and attorney. Please share or continue donating to help us raise money to hire outside resources that will help us find our beloved Samantha and bring her home safe. And to also help support us at home while we process this grief and the trauma it is causing us. Thank you. So this, you know, GoFundMe was made, um, this GoFundMe was made months ago in November, okay? So far, it has raised just over $2,500, and their goal is 5000 So basically, they want to raise money for a private investigator at that time. But she did say in the GoFundMe that, you know, her daughter snuck out the house to meet up with her ex-boyfriend. And then they found her coat in the river with blood on the hood. So... You know what I'm saying? It's it's just, mm. you know, I just want Samantha to get justice for what happened to her. I will leave it at that. I want this little girl, this teenager, to get justice on what happened to her. Okay? And when the autopsy come back, I will let you guys know what the autopsy is saying. But I'm waiting for the press conference um, to hear what they had to say. And I'll be back with more updates, okay? But until then, please send the family prayers, condolences, you know, love and light, because they're going to need it. They're definitely going to need it. And I'll talk to you guys later.